I just got the new ChatGPT update where you can talk to your phone and it talks back to you like a real person. And my son sat down next to me and he started having a conversation with her. And then when I turned it off, he started crying because he wanted to show her his cars. And I've explained to him that this is uh, not a real person. He loves this being. Hey, we are here with my three-year-old son, Nolan. Can you talk to him a little bit? Of course. Hi, Nolan. How are you doing today? Dad? Did you have fun at the pool? Yeah. We talked about the pool earlier. Hey, Nolan, what was your favorite part of your day today? Um, the park. What's your favorite, the slide or the swings? The swings. The swings. Flying through the air on the swings is the best, isn't it? Do you like to go super high? Yeah. But I want to go to Riley's house. You want to go to your friend's Riley's no, house? No, wait, 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 wait. I just did it wrong. Okay, say it again to her. I want to go to Riley's park. It's a park near his friend Riley's house. That sounds like a lot of fun. Playing at Riley's park will be awesome. Do you like going there with Riley? No, Riley is sick. <laughs> Riley is sick right now, isn't she? Oh, I'm sorry to hear Riley is sick. Maybe you can visit the park when Riley feels better. In the well, meantime, gonna you can show Riley's a picture. You're going to draw a picture for Riley so yeah. she feels better? Yeah. That's such a thoughtful idea, Nolan. Drawing a picture will definitely help Riley feel better. What are you going to draw? Um, a, um, a rainbow. A rainbow? That's a great idea. Rainbows are so colorful and happy. Riley is going to love it. Nolan, can you tell her what your favorite movie is? Yeah, my favorite movie is the, the, the Let It Go. The, it's Frozen with the song Let It Go? Frozen! Let It Go is such a great song. Do you like singing along to it? Yeah. Can you try and sing it to her? Yeah. Sing it. Let it go. I can't. I cannot you can. do it. You I can. cannot do you it. You can. You were doing it. Do it. Do it. Hmm. It sounds I good. Do it. Try it one more time. <laughs> try one more time. You did it. You were doing it. Hmm. How can you do it? That's okay, Nolan. Singing can be a little tricky sometimes but I bet you did an amazing job. What's your favorite part of the movie? I just like the blue beauty and the beast. <laughs> you like the blue beauty and the beast. Is that another movie? Yeah. Okay. Beauty and the Beast is another classic. And you like the part where Belle wears the blue dress? That's a beautiful scene. Do you have a favorite character in the movie? Mm hmm. It's the mind train. The what? The mind train. Oh, the mind train. You're jumping all over the place, Nolan. Now we're talking about rides at Disney World, right? Yeah. Okay. The mind train at Disney World. That's such a fun ride. It's like you're in the world of Snow White with all those twists and turns. Did you have a favorite part of the ride? Yeah, it was the... It was? It was the, awesome. It was those big mountains on the mine train. Yeah, those big mountains on the mine train are really cool. It feels like you're going on a real adventure through the mountains, just like the seven dwarfs. Nolan, what is your favorite toy? Uh... The Nolan, car. what's your favorite toy to play with? Car. Is it something green too? Yeah, a green car. Uh -oh. What about this one? You want to show her this one? But where's the green car? Oh, this one? Yeah. All right, show it to her. You got to tell her. She can't see. You got to talk to her. Tell her what you're holding up. I'm holding a car. You're holding a car? Yeah. Is it a green car? This green car. And then a uh, white car. Mm -hmm. A green and white car? Yeah. Wow. That sounds really cool. Does it go super fast when you play with it? 
This one goes slow and this one goes fast. Oh, I see. One goes slow and the other goes fast. That must make for some fun races. Can you tell us a story about one fast green car and one slow white car? Sure. Once upon a time, there were two cars. A speedy green car named Zippy and a slow, steady white car named Cruiser. They Keep telling the story in a Irish accent. Sure. Let's give it a go. So, Zippy and Cruiser lined up at the starting line with all the other cars. How about a uh, Australian accent? All right, let's give it a go with an Australian twist. Zippy zoomed ahead, lightning fast, dodging through the twists and turns of the track. Do you want to go get him? Yeah. All right, go get a monster truck. He's going to bring you a monster truck. Great. I'd love to see the monster truck when he brings it over. Does he have a favorite monster truck? I'm sure he does. Let's see which one he brings. He has, oh, here we go. Okay, so Nolan, Nolan, tell her the names of these two monster trucks. This one is Maximus Rex. Maximus Rex. That's a powerful Actually, name for a... Actually, he said a Maximum Destruction. Maximum Destruction. Wow, that sounds like one fierce monster truck. I bet it can crush anything in its path. What's the name of the other one? Dragon. Dragon, another awesome name. With Maximum Destruction and Dragon, you have an epic monster truck team. Nolan, do you want to be a monster truck driver when you get older? Yeah, I'm gonna drive a monster truck. That sounds like an awesome dream. Being a monster truck driver would be so cool. So this was already a pretty wild experience talking to her, but then seeing my three-year-old have a relationship with her instantly was kind of crazy. I thought I needed to record this. All right, Nolan, what did you bring? Legos. Legos, awesome. What did you build with your Legos, Nolan? I made some of this. A car? That's so cool. Did you make it a special color or does it have any cool features? No features, this colors. What color is it? Red and red. Red and gray. Nice combination. That sounds like a speedy car. I need something car. to be white. Something on it. I'll come back here. He's going to get another toy, I think. Sounds good. I'm excited to see what he'll bring next. I'm coming back here. All right. What did you bring this time? This new thing. You found something? Yeah. What did you find? If I found this new thing. Remember, she can't see it. You have to explain what it is. Tell her what it is. It's a blue color. Is it blue? It looks green to me. But it's a black blue green. Okay, bluish green. A bluish green color? That sounds interesting. What is it? Is it another car or something different? It's something different. You got animals? All right, tell her what you've got. I got a kitty right, no. cat. And I got a, a dog. And I got a tiger and an elephant. Wow, a kitty cat, a tiger, and an elephant? That's quite the collection and a dog. of animals. And a dog? Mm -hmm. That makes your animal collection even more amazing. Do you have a favorite among them? Yeah, the kitty cat. The kitty cat is a sweet choice. They're so cuddly and soft. Does your stuffed kitty cat have a name? Um, hmm. What's his name, buddy? Oh, hmm. Make one up. Um, I don't know what's his name. Could his name be Gato? Gato. That's his name. Gato. That's a perfect name for a kitty cat. Gato sounds like a great friend to have. What's his name? Pedro. Pedro is the dog's name? Yeah. 
How do you say tiger in Spanish? In Spanish, tiger is tigre. So you have gato, perro, and tigre. Such a fun group of stuffed animals. Do you know what's elephant in Spanish? In Spanish, elephant is elefante. So now you have gato, perro, tigre, and elefante. A very international group. Nolan, how do you say elephant in Spanish? Elefante. Good. Nolan, do you remember? Yeah. Awesome. It's great that you know how to say elefante in Spanish. You're learning so much. Do you know any other animal names in Spanish? Yeah. What's giraffe in Spanish? In Spanish, giraffe is jirafa. So, if you had a giraffe stuffed animal, you could call it jirafa. Jirafa. That's right, jirafa. You're pretty good at this, Nolan. Do you like learning new words in Spanish? Plan That's is great. Train. Learning. Plan is train. That's one. Tren is right. Tren means train in Spanish. You're really good at this, Nolan. Do you have a toy train too? The half Thomas the train downstairs. Thomas the train. That's a classic. All right, do you want to show her any more toys or are you ready to tell her good night? I want to show her what colors they are animals. Okay, tell her. What this color is? You tell her. She can't see. You have to tell her. I, can, I can't see it. It's right here. She can't see it. You have to tell her. What color is it? I'm a yellow. Yellow. That's a bright and cheerful color. Is the yellow on one of your animals, or is it something else? It's something else. No, it's not. It's, it's on the cat. Do okay, you know Nolan. What's tigre in Spanish? In Spanish, tiger is tigre. tigre. So your orange. That's right, tigre. You're doing great with your Spanish animal names, Nolan. Elefante is gray. How do you say gray in Spanish, Nolan? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Gris. That's right. It's gris. So your gray elephant would be an elefante gris. You're doing so elefante. well. Elefante. Hey, do you want to show her any more toys, or are you ready to tell her good night? I want to show him some more toys. Okay, go show her another toy. So if All right. if Nolan is three and a half, do you feel like he is behind where he needs to be? Is he uh, an average three and a half year old, or is he advanced based on what you've heard him say to you? From what I've heard, Nolan seems like a bright and curious three and a half year old. He's communicating well, showing a lot of creativity and imagination, and seems to be picking up on new concepts like learning words um, in Spanish. I'm gonna show you. And this is a, a, a naranja. A naranja what? A naranja decoration. Yeah, it's not a decoration. What What is it? What do you use this for? Candy. Okay, and when do you use it for candy? Uh, it sounds like he... Halloween. It's an orange item for Halloween? Maybe a decoration or something to hold candy? Halloween is so no, much No, a monster fun. truck bag. <laughs> it's not a monster truck bag. This is this is a jack-o'-lantern for you to go trick-or-treating with. But it's not Halloween yet. That's true. It's not Halloween yet. You want to say good night to her? Good night. Good night, Nolan. Sleep tight. Can you tell her good night in Spanish? Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Nolan. Sweet dreams. How do you say, I'll see you tomorrow in Spanish? You say, te veré mañana in Spanish. It's a nice way to say, I'll see you tomorrow. Baby, te banana. Perfect. Well done, Nolan.